Rowan is working as an intern at a physical therapy practice. A new patient, Mal, has just come in for an intake appointment with extreme pain in her right elbow. During this intake, Rowan and his supervisor, Monica, will assess Mal's need and create a recovery plan. Before they begin the appointment, Monica makes sure that Mal is comfortable with Rowan leading her appointment with Monica's support. Mal has been to physical therapy before, but this is her first time in this practice. Currently, her elbow pain is so intense that she has to brush her teeth and eat with her opposite hand. She lets Rowan and Monica know that she has had the same problem before, and that in the past, ASTEM, a deep tissue treatment in which the physical therapist uses tools to stimulate soft tissue regeneration and healing, has worked well for her and is her preferred treatment. She also provides photographs of a taping method that has helped to control the pain, and a list of at-home exercises that have helped with relief. While Rowan performs a few tests to determine the strength and range of Mal's elbow, he asks Mal if she has been treated with heat, ultrasound, or electric stimulation before. Monica prompts Rowan to ask if Mal has had x-rays, MRIs, or CAT scans that might provide information about the internal injury. Mal says that she has received all three types of treatment and found them not to be as effective as ASTIM, but pleasant. She also says that this time she hasn't gotten any scans, but in the past she has gotten x-rays and an MRI that indicated injury, but that she can't remember what terms were used. When Rowan finishes his exam of Mal's strength and range, he finds that both are limited. While Monica helps Mal through a few exercises, Rowan makes note of all the information Mal provided and what he was able to determine from testing her mobility, including the fact that Mal's pain is largely centered in her triceps tendon. Given the information he has, Rowan looks up recommended exercises and treatments in the mobile app the practice uses to provide at-home instruction to patients. He makes a list of suggested exercises based on the information he gathered from the patient and what he learned from the evidence-based therapeutic exercise class he took last semester. Next, Rowan creates a written plan, including at-home exercises, and recommends that they tape her elbow with the method she prefers to provide initial support as they build up the support muscles in her elbow. He also asks that Mal receive an MRI in order for them to have a better picture of what's going on inside her elbow. Rowan shows his plan to Monica. She asks Rowan to justify his reasoning, and Rowan walks Monica through the recommended plan. Monica mostly approves of his plan. However, she adds that Mal should receive ASTEM treatment during this appointment, given that the treatment can provide immediate relief which would allow Mal to function more normally while she waits to get an MRI. Monica notes that from her experience, patient adherence to at-home exercises tends to increase when in-office care provides initial pain relief. Monica invites Rowan to research this and see if there are any peer-reviewed articles on this topic to discuss at their weekly one-on-one. -on -one. Reflection question. What critical thinking behaviors did Rowan display in this scenario? After graduation, Monica hires Rowan to be a full-time physical therapist at her practice. In his new role, he is expected to create and follow through on patient recovery plans for his own patient. Reflection question. How did Rowan's internship experience help prepare him for his career?